Here you can see a bucket containing 1000 grams of highly explosive sodium metal. On there it states that it is for professional use only. So today we are going to use it very professionally by dropping it in water all at once. The sodium metal is stored in mineral oil to protect it from the atmosphere. So before we could start I had to clean this thoroughly with lots of paper towels. Because performing this reaction is obviously very dangerous, we had to design a special contraption to do this safely. So we bought a 50 liter transparent plastic container, filled it halfway with water and placed it on a bucket. To that container we taped a string, so we were able to push it over from a far distance. I then used a net and some strong tape in order to secure all of the sodium metal on the inside of the lid of the container. I didn't want to harm any fish or other aquatic life doing this, so we did this reaction in the winter in a relatively large puddle of water that was completely dead anyway. Then it was time for the most dangerous part where I had to tape the lid to the box. One wrong move here and my life might as well be over. After the lid was taped on, it was time for the fun part. Kaboom! Yes, Rico! Kaboom! All that was left to do was to pull the string and enjoy the show. Hi! You see anyone? Hi! 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 Now even though I was like more than 20 meters away with the string, some plastic shards still flew past me as I was running away. You can safely say that this isn't safe and that you should definitely refrain from repeating this or anything similar. So the sodium bucket shown in the beginning could also be marketed as war zone in a bucket. Everything that wasn't nailed down suddenly got blown up. The bucket and the box used for the contraption completely kicked the bucket. We also scared the poor deer a little bit. In the slow-mo you can see a million shots from the box and bucket flying in every direction. What is even more crazy is that this huge explosion was only about half of the sodium metal reacting. You can see in the slow-mo how some of the metal get exploded out of the water. When collecting all the shards from the plastic container, we could recollect over 400 grams of the initially used 1000 grams of sodium metal. So this huge explosion was actually only 500 grams of sodium reacting with water. The reaction continued for quite a while and a couple minutes later we saw the last explosions happening. <laughs> 